Kyle Shumway and Ben Gunn were rescued yesterday after their plane ran out of fuel and crashed into Alaska's icy straits. The men swam about a mile to shore before they were rescued. These four others are still missing, and the Coast Guard today suspended the search for the time being. Oh, I, I think we saved each other's lives numerous times. An incredible story of loss and survival. Two Utah men talk about their plane crash in Alaska. Record-breaking temperatures. How long will they last? A look in your full cast. And Good everyone, I'm Bob Evans. Hope is off tonight. People with homes and cabins in Weber County near Kazi Reservoir are getting their first in Alaska. But they say volunteer searchers may have found the wreckage of the plane carrying six Utahns in 250 feet of water in Icy Strait. The family of the pilot says they're looking into a possible recovery effort of that wreckage. It was an emotional reunion today for two survivors of that plane crash who returned from Alaska. Fox 13 Steve Barron was at the airport. Wives rushed to greet their husbands, the two survivors of a plane crash Sunday in Alaska, as crowds of friends and family members look on. Michelle and Kyle Shumway immediately embraced. I have mixed feelings. I'm so happy, but I'm so sad. But it's, it's just a miracle. I want to kiss you on the cheek, but I can't. Ben and Stephanie Gunn are also together again. Gunn was hurt in the crash. He just wants people to know that he's okay. Feels good. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Thanks. And the guy said, uh, Mr. Gunn, I said yes, and he said, I have good news, your son's dead. We just broke down. Broke down. But four others are still missing. The pilot, Gary Ostler, and his son, Christopher, were last seen clinging to a duffel bag and swimming for shore. Gordon and Adam Moses are also missing. The reunion was filled with tears shed for those missing men. I made it out. It's all right. I think we'll find him. I'm, I, I, you know what? All I can ask is someone survived. I'm happy. Details of the crash are now emerging. All the men on board are from Salt Lake City and were flying to Gustavus, Alaska for a fishing trip. The plane ran out of fuel. Oster ditched it in the ocean. All six men got out, faced with a cold, mile-long swim to the nearest land. At times I was in complete distress, you know, yelling out, I don't know what I'm going to do, and he was just saying, keep swimming. So. Oh, I, I think we saved each other's lives numerous times. The survivors say they spent several hours on shore and were finally able to flag down a passing fishing boat. From there, a Coast Guard helicopter took them to a hospital. In Salt Lake City, Steve Barron, Fox 13 News, Utah. Authorities say there was no sign of engine trouble. The pilot reported running out of gas and said he would glide to the nearest airport. But once he got out of the clouds, they say he could not see the land and chose to put it down in the water instead. Fox 13 News at 9 will continue in a moment. I'm coming, nothing short of a miracle. You know, you just don't survive. Plane crashes. So to have them seemingly come back from the dead is truly miraculous. Kyle Shumway and Ben Gunn are two men with amazing stories of survival. It was a really tough journey, but we through a lot of hard work, we made it, and so I'm just happy to be back. On Sunday, Kyle and Ben and four others left for a fishing adventure in Alaska. Their small plane ran out of fuel and crash-landed in the icy strait. Still missing are pilot Gary Osler, his son Chris, and Gary's brothers-in-law, Gordon and Adam Moses. I think most of us were knocked out for at least 30 seconds. I, I think I was also. Uh, but when I when I came to, there was about a, a foot of water in the plane, and I was just you know yelling, trying to tell everyone to get out of the plane. Kyle says Gordon was unconscious and trapped in his seat. Gordon's brother Adam went under trying to save him. Gary was the last to see them. He just said that he and Adam tried as hard as they possibly could to get Gordy. And Gary tried as hard as, as hard as he possibly could to get Adam and Gordy out. Uh, but when it came down to it, they just couldn't do it. Gary and his son Chris stayed together. They were seen clinging to a duffel bag and swimming to shore. Meanwhile, Kyle and Ben also headed to shore. They called out to each other as they swam about a mile in 50-degree water. Of course, at times I was in complete distress. You know, yelling out, I don't know what I'm going to do, and he was just saying, keep swimming. So, oh, I, I think we saved each other's lives numerous times. 
Once ashore, the two stayed close, keeping each other warm. Yesterday morning, it was a fishing boat that saved them. I told them that we we're of the wreck, and they, they, they confirmed who we were. And then Ben and I just broke down crying. We knew that we'd be saved. So that was the best part of it. So happy to be alive. Now, the pilot's wife is hopeful her husband and stepson are still alive. Krista Osler told me today her husband has 10 years' experience as a pilot. She says the plane's instruments may have malfunctioned. She plans to charter a boat to continue the search and recover that plane. Back to you. Ever since I started swimming, you know, that's what kept me going, thinking of my wife and making it back to the family. Now, surprisingly, family members say that the two young survivors are stricken with guilt because of the four that have not been found. Now, everyone I talk to obviously says that there's really nothing they could have done. They did everything they could to bring these, these uh, other family members mm. back home. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Now, other family members are also on the way to right where the crash occurred, and they say they plan to give those waters one more final search.